Good morning. Are you ready, kids? Oh! Are you ready, kids? <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. Um, let's get straight to the point. <laughs> Guess how much this is? Guess how much this is? Oh. This is supposed to be five bands, but I know it's more than that. Because <laughs> I can smell it. I'm smelling six, at least. <laughs> Alright, don't scare the viewers. I can't believe I'm actually finished with this. Like, I did it. <laughs> so I'm going to be counting my money while I explain to y'all what the 100 envelope challenge is. For those of y'all who have no idea, you're in for a treat. I have my cash box right here. I'm going to be counting while putting it on my cash box. Each envelope is numbered. One, two, three, four. The envelopes are numbered one through 100. And each envelope has the amount of money that corresponds to that envelope. So envelope number one has $1, envelope two has $2, envelope 55 has 55, envelope 99 has 99, and so on. Ideally, in the perfect, to do it perfectly, you would do day one first, day two the second day, $3 the third day, $4 the fourth day, $5 the fifth day. I did it a little bit different, which is why I said this is definitely more than five bands, because I left my 100 envelope empty. I started at 99 and then did 98, 97, 96, 95, 94, because those are the high numbers, so you have to have enough cash flow to be able to do like 98 one day, 99 another day, 97, 96, 95, 94, 93, like and all the 80s and all the high numbers. So I wanted to get those out of the way. Obviously the days that I did like 99, 98, 97, I wasn't making 99 in cash that day and 97 that day. So like it took me like two days to do those ones, which is fine. It can take you as long as it has to. It doesn't have to take exactly 100 days for 100 envelopes. Although ideally, that's the idea, that's the goal. But this took me a few months. I dipped into this a couple times. <laughs> I went on a couple trips and stuff. It took a little bit longer than I wanted it to because you're not supposed to touch this money. It's supposed to be a saving method. Putting them in the envelopes is supposed to stop you from going back and dipping to the money. Bro, I drank so much shit last night. My stomach's on 100 right now. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, this can take as long as it needs to take you. And in order to do this, you have to be making cash. I walk away with cash every single day. It defeats the purpose if you're going to your bank account and taking out cash just to do this because you're supposed to save this. This is supposed to be like the extra money that you have, not you're not supposed to be running yourself dry just to do the challenge. But all this money wasn't what I needed. Like I have a few streams coming into my account and this wasn't it. This cash wasn't dire to my account. Is that the right word? Yeah, I'm trying to sound smart. It's like all this money in my hands. And it's also tight pointless to save all this money. I mean, not pointless, you can do whatever you want with your money, but I feel like it's tight pointless to save all this money and then be like, oh, I have an extra five bands. I'm gonna just spend it all in one. So, like that's not the, that's not like the goal of it either. I mean, obviously you can do whatever you want with your money. Like I'm gonna definitely use some of this money, like, but a lot of this is just going into some of my accounts. <laughs> I don't want to let y'all know what I'm up to, you know what I mean? But a lot of this is, most of this is going into a couple of my accounts, my, my different accounts, my secret accounts, okay? But yeah, this is just nice to have. If you're not in a position where you can do this, like, it might take you, like, a year to complete, and it can. It's just something that's supposed to work to help you save. So however long that takes you, it don't matter to me. Do whatever you want. Nah, I'm like day 16 i'm at right now because i'm slow as hell but i have to pick it up because i actually have to leave for work soon i love watching videos like this like i love watching videos of people count money so i hope y'all do too i mean if you're watching this and you obviously do i don't even think all this money's gonna fit in my cash box i just love cash in my hands i can't if you're doing this you should do something like put it in a high yield or throw it in some index funds or something like that that's honestly the smartest thing to do with your money unless you want to really just ball out but and like some of y'all might be watching this and being like Dang, five bands, that's mad cash. And some of y'all might be watching this being like, five bands, like, that's it? <laughs> After working on this for, for like so long, it's been a few months, I'm just like, eh, five bands. In my head from the start, I already had this, you know? Cause from the start, I was like, oh, when I'm done, I'm gonna have five bands. So I've been had this, but I'm also grateful to have the five bands. Like, I'm not, I'm not like, dang, I could, I wish I didn't have it. Like, obviously I'm grateful for all this money, but obviously I also worked for this money. Oh, we got no explanation. Don't leave me like that. This thought be boring as fuck if I just keep filming this. So I'm gonna take all this money out and then record again and show you guys when I'm counting it all to see how much it is. So BRB. Okay, I'm about to open the hundredth envelope. <laughs> but first, like, this is like so good for manifestation because now I know that I'm gonna feel more than this next time. This is the hundredth envelope. Let's count how much is in here. So 50, 100. This is 436. So I'm gonna add up all this money. It should literally just be $5,000. 
$5,436. I already know that for a fact, but um, my obsessive compulsive tendencies are gonna make me type this into a calculator one by one. There's a formula for this too. I know damn well there's a formula for this and I'm just totally not gonna Google it and figure it out in two seconds and I wanna do it the long way. So if you have OCD, then this should be fun. So one plus two plus three, not literally, I'm dead ass. Thousands of tears later. I fucked up so hard. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm gonna take it all out just to hold it. Call me crazy, I can do whatever I want with my money, okay? If I wanna hold it, I can hold it. Bro, this is a fat ass pile of cash, my man, like. Hello? I could hear them perkies calling. I'm just kidding. Five bands ain't even that much, but to hold it in cash. I just feel like I'm the shit right now. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie. It's you vibe, but you me, you getting high, hey. <laughs> Stop. Yo, <laughs> you're not gonna believe this. What? Bro, I'm not doing that unless you send me red, like. So now I'm gonna organize my money into racks and just like separate it onto the floor, so. I just wanna play with it, like. And I really actually don't know exactly how much it is because I'm a dumbass and the only way for me to do this is to actually put it on the floor and do it, so. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five thousand four hundred. Ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. That was the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Love you guys. Comment down below what you would do with an extra five bands, because I just want to know. It's like it's an extra five bands, so it's not like a five bands that you like need. Where it's like, oh, well, I would pay off my bill, or well. Okay, paying off debt is actually a good thing to do, so you could do that. But not like go on vacation, unless it is going on vacation. Honestly, just let me know in the comments down below because I'm genuinely curious as to what y'all would do if you had an extra five bands in your account. Love you guys, see you in the next video.